Okay, so here's our first video. Um, this is gonna be a review for most people because they already got the notes, so we're gonna go real quick right through the notes and then go to in, into drawing the examples and um, having an assignment with that. Some classes already had that, one class already had it. So first off, um, electron dot diagrams used for valence electrons. It tells you how many electrons are used for bonding Maximum number is eight. And eight is used to become stable. So when we think about our stable atoms, our elements on the periodic table, they're all the ones in the very last column. Those all have eight valence electrons in their outer energy level. Right. So the difference, I guess, you know, most of the time students, I think, believe if you have like uh, 10 protons and 10 electrons, it's neutral, which it is but they think it's also stable and it's not, okay? okay. So this is how we're putting our, our valence electrons around our element symbol, okay? We're gonna start out two on the right and then we move around in a counterclockwise direction. Okay, so get out of here. So you're gonna need your periodic table out. Let's take lithium for example. Lithium has three protons, it has four neutrons, and it has two in the first energy level, electrons, and one in the second energy level. So the way we write this for our electron dot diagram, our electron dot model, is we look at the very last energy level. And that's how many valence electrons there are. So for lithium, there would be one. Let's pick another one. Let's pick something a little bit bigger, like um, sulfur, S. So sulfur, has an atomic number of 16. So there's 16 protons, and it also has 16 neutrons. So we have two electrons in the first, eight in the second, and six in the third. So when we do our dot diagrams, sulfur would have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six valence electrons that could be used for bonding. And we could do that for anything on the periodic table. Okay? Now the one thing that we did in class, we talked about the periodic table, and we talked about eliminating the transition elements in the middle, or the transition metals in the middle. Okay? So if you'll notice on the top, and this should also be on your colored periodic table that you made, we have one, two, all the way up to 18. So the nice thing is if every single element in the first column has one, because it's in the first column. So for example, I'm gonna write them real quick here. Hydrogen, one. Lithium, one. Potassium, one. Okay? And so how many do you think there will be in the second one? There'll be two, okay? Then we skip the transition elements, and let's go over to boron, which is uh, an atomic number of five. So boron is technically in the 13th group. All right. If we eliminate that one out front, it's three. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Further over, already did uh, sulfur, but if we look at oxygen, it is in the one, two, three, four, five, sixth. One, two, three, I kind of made that out of place. Three, four, five, six. And so on and so on. Um, the special one is helium, because helium is all the way over here in the last group, the last column. So it should have eight 
valence electrons, at least every other one does, but helium's special because it only starts out with two electrons. One, two. So that's our special one. That doesn't really follow the pattern. So we can go over a ton of these, but all you need to do is look at what column it is. So I'm gonna put a couple up here. I recommend that you pause the video. Yeah, let's do three. Pause the video, try to write these down yourself. Phosphorus is right under nitrogen. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. AS, acetine, right under nitrogen again. So it also has five. One, two, three, four, five. And then aluminum. One, two, three. Here's aluminum right under boron. One, two, three. And our dot models are as simple as that. They show all of the valence electrons. Now I'm gonna put a number up here. Oh no, let's do that next. We'll do another video and then we'll have the homework. 